Hi guys, it's Scissors. Today I want to talk a little bit about uh, anxiety, panic, depression, and seasonal affective disorder. Um, these are all things that I get to play with and get to learn to deal with continuously and have been dealing with for a good portion of my life. Um, mostly depression. Um, so yeah, and hopefully I'll get to talk about how I deal with it. <laughs> um, anyways, so I've had depression for most of my life um, at various intensities and in various forms, but it's been there for a really long time. Um, I was officially diagnosed in my at the beginning of high school, uh, and I was diagnosed with an antidepressant at that time. Um, my hi, sweetie. This is Spike. He's my kitty. He makes me feel better. Um, my the end of my junior year or the beginning of my senior year, I decided that I no longer needed to be on that medication because I had the uh, coping skills to deal with my depression. I was also I also had a great uh, support system. I was working out 15 hours a week. I had an amazing diet because I was in a no wheat, no dairy, very little gluten, very little excess sugar household. Um, and I was in Arizona, so the sun was always out. And so that wasn't a thing that I had to deal with. It is now. Actually, all of those things are things that I have to deal with. So since moving up here, um, hey, sweetie, um, my relationship with my family has changed dramatically. Um, <laughs> so my support system has changed dramatically. Um, and for a long time I felt like I just didn't have one. Uh, the sunlight went away. Um, because during the winter there's only, we only have a few hours of sunlight. And especially when I was working in a place that had no windows, um, I was seasonal affective disorder was something that I had to deal with. Um, goodness, I stopped working out, I was no longer teaching aerobics classes, and had very little motivation to work out for myself, and I gained a lot of weight because of that, and because my diet went to hell. Um, because I finally had the um, ability to make decisions about food for myself, I went all out, it was Burger King and the cafeteria food and vending machines and candy and sugar and ice cream and all the things that I wasn't allowed to eat when I was living with my family all the time <laughs> and so if you watch my videos from the past couple of years you can probably see that I gained a lot of weight very quickly um, which is not fun um, and so, with all of that, I started having social anxiety, which led to uh, anxiety attacks, which are which were fairly minor, and full-blown panic attacks. Um, and I actually had one of those last night, so I'm feeling kind of icky right now. Um, and then seasonal affective disorder in the winter because of vitamin D deficiency and general winter fun stuff. Um, so this all combines to a lot of suck. <laughs> I really don't think there's anything else that I can say about it. It sucks. Um, and I have tried to be on medication in the past year, but the one that I was on was not the right one. And unfortunately, I have a lot of anxiety revolving around medical professionals. Um, it's very, very hard for me to go to a doctor or be around medical professionals and not have either an anxiety or full-blown panic attack. Um, kitty. Um, so that makes it a lot harder for me to deal with these things because I, I, it's really, really hard. <laughs> um, and it started with dentists, and I don't know why it's just kind of blown up. Um, I'm getting better about it. <sighs> I'm okay. 
I'm not crying. But so, I've been making a lot of changes. I might have mentioned this in my last video, the questions video. I have changed my diet. I am eating less wheat and milk products and eating a lot more healthy food. I'm starting to cook more at home um, and when I'm out at a restaurant I'm starting to make healthier choices. Um, this past week has been kind of bad. I've been eating a lot of pie. But for the most part I'm doing pretty well with that. <sighs> um, I'm starting to work out a lot more. I just recently renewed my license to teach Zumba Fitness. Um, I'm not teaching classes yet because I haven't taught in two years. Um, but I feel like I'm starting to get to the point where I can teach again. And so as soon as I uh, get my CPR certification, I should be able to start looking for a place to teach. Um, I'm starting to reach out to friends and talk to them about my anxiety. Um, so that when I do have a panic attack or an anxiety attack and I'm not at home, uh, I can just tell, I, I can go to a friend and say, hey, I'm, I, I need you to hug me, <laughs> pretty much. Um, and then seasonal affective disorder, I am taking vitamin D supplements and um, I have a happy light that I use when I'm meditating and when I'm not meditating. And so yeah, I'm starting to find more and more ways that I can actually deal with these things. Um, and also corsets. Wearing a corset really helps. Um, it's kind of like getting a hug from a friend. Um, the pressure on my sides really, really helps. Um, and there are scientific reasons for that, but I don't have it off the top of my head. Uh, so yeah, and I'm a little bit wary uh, because in general I do like the winter. Um, that's part of the reason why I moved up here. But because I do know that uh, depression, anxiety, and panic attacks get worse for me in the winter, um, I'm a little bit wary. Um, especially because, excuse me, I have a runny nose now because I've been crying. Ah, goodness. But because those things get worse for me in the winter, I'm wary of it. And the past two winters I've seen, which are the past two that I've been up here, I've seen myself get really, really bad. Um, so, yeah. Um, I really don't know what else to say about that. Um, I'm feeling a lot better <laughs> recently. Uh, I have fewer panic attacks. I have fewer anxiety attacks. Um, I'm feeling better about being social and being with friends. Um, I hate shopping though. I always get really anxious when I'm shopping. Um, I'm getting better about being around medical professionals. <laughs> um, and so yeah, it's really just, like my brother tells me, taking it one day at a time. Um, and learning to be okay with not being in control of things. Because I know that it all also gets worse for me when I feel like I'm not in control. Um, when I don't know what a friend is thinking or feeling about me, um, and I kind of assume the worst. Um, when I am feeling insecure about money or with my relationship with my family and I'm being nervous and doing a nervous hand thing and I need to stop. <sighs> I'm okay. And so yeah, it's moments like these where I'm starting to feel a little bit anxious and I just, I'm actually okay. I have a house, it's warm, I have a cat who loves me and appreciates me, um, I have a job, I have money, I can pay the bills, and I have friends who are awesome. Um, and I have new Zumba music that I get to go play with now because it Zen 20, not Zen 21, Zen 41 just came in yesterday. Uh, so I'm gonna go rock out some more. Alright, so hopefully this video was not a complete disaster. Um, <laughs> but yeah, anyways, I'm gonna go now. Mutual love and blessed be. Bye.